guys, not sure if you can see that. See that install.tar file right there? So, installing a uh, Sophos uh, UTM firewall now, version 9.5, but they've actually had this problem since version 8. But this isn't so much of a. I've actually had a lot of problems with uh, Linux booting from uh, USB devices. Uh, you know, like when your server doesn't actually have like a CD ROM. You know, and I'm trying to boot from actually to like a, like a USB flash drive. So yeah, this is pretty common. Um, I've been dealing with this for years with Linux, you know, CentOS, um, CentOS, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, because I do a lot of phone systems and like Linux-based firewalls and uh, Cisco stuff too, Cisco Linux-based phone systems. Um, but yeah, it's always been an issue. So there's a couple different ways you can remember this. And I'm going to try it a couple different things. And I can always burn it to a, a CD and then it's, I could, it might or might not work, but it, this is usually a problem with, um, uh, even this, sometimes you'll even have the same problem with a USB CD-ROM. It doesn't, it just doesn't detect it fast enough or it can't detect it, so, uh, I'm going to try to have a couple of different things to fix this and see if I can get past this, but, alright. Alright, so I'm going to try a little trick here. So hit Alt-F2, go to the console, and I'm going to try to mount this. CD uh, USB drive mount device SDB1 oh, sorry install alright let's try that alright now go back to alt F1 and let's see what happens I'll come back. All right, this is where the install would fail before. So let's see if it works. It makes a difference. Probably, probably fail again. Um, this has always been a problem. The different versions of Linux. I've, it depends on the actual the chipset and a lot of different things. So, uh, like what's in the actual server. So this is usually where it fails right here. Let's see. This is so right now. It should be looking for the CD-ROM or looking for the install file. And let's see, this is you right usually where it fails. Ah, worked! Boom! Gotta mount that USB drive first before you do the install. So yeah, this I've had this issue over the years with different versions of Linux, so um, mainly CentOS. So cool, awesome, awesome.